he has chosen the 25th Melbourne International Comedy Festival as his last ever TV appearance. The Sandman. Thank you. Do you like my suit? I'm the world's biggest mustick. <laughs> or a penis with the hair at the wrong end. <laughs> Have you ever seen two buttons work harder? <laughs> I fart, I could take out a light. <laughs> Basically, my ass has moved up to here so it can retire somewhere with a better view. <laughs> if you don't know me, I am the Sandman. My first name is The. <laughs> My favourite animal is the Greyhound. I love Greyhounds because when you take them to the beach, they can actually catch the seagulls. <laughs> I don't like puppies, I don't like anything with a future. <laughs> I'm going quite well. <laughs> but my favourite thing in life is seeing somebody miss out on something they desperately want. <laughs> so if I don't live up to your expectations, at least you know I'll be happy and that's the main thing. <laughs> Like all young comedians that come to the festival, I'm here for one thing. I am available for sex if you're interested. And I won't take up very much of your time. Sex should take no longer than it takes a cheese jaffle to cook. When you're not very good at something, it's good to know there's a little reward when you finish. <laughs> I'm quite experienced too. I've had one one night stand with an older woman called Gail. She sat on my lap for over 40 minutes at an end of year TAFE party. <laughs> I love TAFE, there's lots of divorced women there. <laughs> but like a lot of one night stands, it didn't really work out. Not only were her buttocks pressing into my bladder, <laughs> so I was busting for a wee. After 20 minutes, my legs went completely numb. <laughs> and then after 40 minutes when she stood up and said, Sandy, would you like to come home with me? All I could do is just drop off the chair and wet myself. <laughs> Thank you very much. The end. The Sandman, ladies and gentlemen.